on, 9-2? How are things? Man, going good, man. You know, just enjoying the week, you know, enjoying the good weather. Just trying to get back to being 1-0 and this week. You strike me as that guy who's got that Cali laid back vibe going. <laughs> yeah, like, but then on game day, you become something different. Yeah. Is that is that a fair assertion? Yeah, I'll say that's fair. You know, I'm a cool, laid back, relaxed guy. You know, I like to just kick back and be chill. You know what I mean? I get along with everyone. But once I'm on the field, it's just a whole different mindset. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Kind of like Kobe, how he snaps into that Mamba mentality, kind of like that. Now, being a Cali guy and then going to USC, what did that mean for you? Because that's, that's a huge. pretty big deal. Yeah, there's that's the big it. three, right? There's yeah. USC, UCLA, and 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 who am I missing? missing USC, UCLA, Cal and Murphy. Cal. Yeah. And those are football factories. Yeah, yeah, especially USC. You know what I mean? Every kid's dream, especially growing up, like right off of that freeway right there in LA and stuff, yeah. is to go to USC. So I feel like that was like my main goal was to play college football. Like yeah. NFL and professional was just a plus, but my biggest goal was like, Running out the Coliseum, playing against Notre Dame, playing against UCLA in those afternoon games that I grew up watching and stuff. Yeah. So that was, that was that was that was a big thing. I, I enjoyed that. But for a lot of kids, they're multi-sport guys. Was football yeah. your only sport, or uh, were you playing I basketball? Played, all of it? I played basketball my whole life. I didn't play football till about ninth grade. So how'd that happen? I just started playing football. Did the coach see you down the hallway and say, "Okay, he's got to play football"? I, my for brother us? was playing football at the same high school, and I was younger. And okay. my brother's like probably four years older than me, so right. I was just a big kid playing basketball at the courts there while he was at practice. And they're like, "Oh, that's your little brother?" And they're like, "Oh yeah." So they're like, "Oh yeah, well, he's gonna play football when he gets here." So I ended up playing because I liked watching my brother play. So I just played, and I ended up turning out to be pretty good at it. It now you come out, out of USC, uh, you end up with the Buccaneers, but they also ended up with the Broncos and you picked yeah. up a Super Bowl ring. Yeah. What was that experience like I for you? I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Met some great guys along the way. Got to hang with some real true Hall of Famers like Peyton Manning, Demarcus Ware, Vaughn Miller, Keith yeah. Tlaib, Chris Harris. Got to see how they worked on the daily. You know what I mean? Seeing what made them different, seeing what, what little things they put into their game that makes them that much, makes them who they are, who they are today. Is that the advice for a lot of the young athletes out there is that as you as you get better and you get to the next level, the margin for error is slimmer, so yeah. you have to work um, yeah, even just, harder. And success can really success can really fool you sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's just about I feel like it's just about being more efficient. That's the thing I know that's about the game. It's, yeah. The biggest jump is from high school to college, then another jump is from college to professional. Right. Just, the biggest thing is like yeah, strength, size, speed, but you guys are we're all big, fast, and strong. So. It's really efficiency. It's shooting your hands in the right place, how yeah. your feet in the right place. And doing it every time. Yeah, and doing it every time, be consistent. One step wrong, now you're double gapped all the way by the center just because yeah. everyone's in the sequence and moving that fast. So, now, If you weren't playing football, what would you be doing, G? I mean, I'm running my training business. I have a training company back home. Yeah, that started, yeah, when I stopped okay. playing football for a year or so. So I'm doing that. So that's doing pretty well. I shut it down when I'm here, but yeah. for the most part, that's what I probably would be doing. What so. do you want people to say about you when you leave the game of football? He gave it his all. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. Gave it the all. game demands a lot, but if you give a lot, you get a lot yeah, back. Exactly. Amen to that. Thanks, 9-2. Yeah. I appreciate it.